Oh. 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 Yeah, look, I'm uh... You're early. Yeah, listen, I'll tell you. <laughs> You're not due out to another half hour, yeah? Yeah, I know, listen, just a minute. Oh, no. <laughs> You'll be able to take your bus out on time for a change, won't look, you? Well, I'm yeah. I'll put that I'll... down right away, yeah. First time in ten years. Oh, God help us, yeah. <laughs> but they're early. Bus out on time. Yeah. Oh, God. You got it down? Yeah. Right now, you can rub it out. Because <laughs> oh. I ain't taking the bus out. Now, what's up now, then? Look, my sister's getting a divorce today. Divorce? I told you. Her husband, Arthur, ran off with a bird last year. You know all about it. I told you about it. The divorce comes up today and I've got to go to court, so I'm not taking the bus out. That's it. Now, Butler, I'm not rearranging my bus schedule to suit your sister's sex life. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what's it got to do with you? Because I've got to go to court, here we are, to give evidence. You give evidence? Yeah. Butler. You've got a criminal face, mate. <laughs> if you give evidence, your sister won't get a divorce. You get six months hard labour. <laughs> Arthur's cross petitioning, yeah? He's claiming cruelty. Cruelty, I ask you. That's absolutely daft, I should know. Well, I lived with him for ten years. If your brother in law had to live with you for ten years, mate, he's got a clear case of cruelty. <laughs> anyway, I can't hang about here. Mum's waiting for me outside. Hey, what's he doing here? Well, we're catching the 1015 to Newgate Street. That's the one that goes past the court. Six months to have this hearing. Yes, you must go, love. If you don't get divorced, you can't get married. And you must have your freedom while you're young and attractive. <laughs> yes, Dan. Yeah. Why is Olive dressed like that? What's she got that veil over her face for? Well, you know, we've got to impress the judge, you know, it's a solicitor's idea. I mean, he's a bright bloke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen. She better keep that veil over her face when she's in court, or the judge will find Arthur had every justification. Oh, shut up. There, she's got to fix her face. Yeah. Left it a bit late. <laughs> anyway, keep the veil down. Uh, now, listen, tea, calm yourself down and get you a nice cup of tea. Of <sighs> course. I can never understand how that beast walked out on her after ten years' marriage. No. It's just like the bus, isn't it? He used her. <laughs> used her for ten years. Then discarded her. Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, I don't think you've done much mileage. Don't <laughs> <laughs> they fight it? They never did get on, did they? Oh, yeah. oh, oh my God, go through with it! Oh, God, let's have this again. The judge is going to ask me Look, all we've been through. Questions. Will you be quiet? We've been through all it. Well, who's got the answer to the question? Let's, let's have a go through it again. I've please. got the answer to the questions in my bag here. All nice and tidy, they are. Do you mean to say the solicitor's making you commit perjury? No, this is just no, to make sure not. we've got the words right, at all. <laughs> yeah. oh, now, now, calm yourself down and listen. Now, the first question would be, now, explain to the judge how your husband deliberately injured you with a sharp instrument. Now, oh, yes. Yes. Well, Your Honour, mm -hmm. he came home for his dinner and he deliberately threw a tin opener straight at me. A tin opener? <laughs> <laughs> well, I bet you hadn't got his dinner ready for him. Yes, I had. I'd cooked him one of my special stews. Yeah. That's why he threw the tin over at her. <laughs> Took one look at the stew, he said, here, open the can of beans. Stan, <laughs> you're not going to say that in court. Well, of course I'm not, don't we, Dove? Now, the other thing is, now, the solicitor says here, he'll, uh, he'll ask you to show the judge the scar where it pierced your stomach. <laughs> pierced so your stomach? <laughs> yes, pierced your stomach. Come on, love, show the scar. <laughs> but yes, the judge, not him, he doesn't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Well, do you? I don't know. Come on. Love. What's that you got on? <laughs> Woolly vest? I always wear a woolly vest. Love it, I wonder if I left you. <laughs> How long is it for gold shape? What do you wear it for? Keep your knees warm. Oh, she got it when long skirts was in. I'd tuck it up with a bit of elastic. Oh! There's the scar. Oh, well, here, mate. Have a look at that, mate. No, thank you. <laughs> have a look at that. Don't, don't be squeamish. Have a look at that. Right. Now, if you was a judge, what would you say? Very nasty. <laughs> Here. That was never done with a tin opener, was it? No, she fell off a scooter when she was a kid. <laughs> My dear, the judge won't know that, though, will he? Perjury! Here, Olive, no. you've, got to, you've got to get that vest off. I can't! I might come out and goose pimple. 
Only if you've got to convince the judge you're a sexy, desirable wife, and that's not going to be easy. So get the best off. Now go to the loo, take it off, because you won't I have time to get the court. Oh. Here, take the violin. Oh, I, I do hope this case goes all right, because I knew it, you know. I knew it would end like this from the day he married her. Oh, poor Thomas devil. Oh, hello. Please don't keep us out today. No, uh, she, Olive's getting a divorce today, so I'm taking her to court, you oh, see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't you forget you're taking me to the pictures tonight. Well, I haven't forgotten that, have I? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, to tell you the truth. <laughs> well, I hope the film's no good. <laughs> Why? Then we won't have to watch it, silly. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he isn't thinking of marrying her. He's thinking of something, but I don't think it's marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing him, though, he might have to, the way he goes on. <laughs> I know him, he's like when he's driving one of our buses. He never knows when to stop. Inspector! Now, put your cup tea, please, darling. Hey, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be taking out the 10.15. It's 20 past down. What do you think you're up to? Oh, I'm just waiting for you to give me the OK. Waiting for me? Get out of here, you moron. Get the bus out. Oh, Go on. Right. Unless it's 10.15 in New York Street. That's the one we've got to get. Oh, you can't take that bus out. Olive's still in the ladies. Mother, I'm not holding up one of my buses so your daughter can take off her underwear. <laughs> now, come on, get the bus out. Nag, nag, nag. I think it was... Come right. on, get the bus out. <laughs> I've already told you, late. I haven't oh, moved yet. <laughs> Hold it, help, help. Hold it, it's all down yet. Here, you can't go with that, my little Olive. She won't get her default. I can't help that, can I? No, well, if she don't get in the courthouse, she won't get her maintenance money. Olive! 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 Ain't you finished yet? <laughs> Olive! The bus is waiting to go! Oh, Stan, I'm in such a mess! <laughs> What's happened to you? Well, I tried to take it off without taking my jumper off, but it got all twisted in the straps of my bra. What's the matter with you? Oh! <laughs> You're not You're not doing a strip tease on one of my buses. What are you talking about? You'll charge more than a ticket. Come on, honey. Come on, honey. Come on, honey. I'll wait out, please. I just can't get my bra undone. Oh. All right, get them out. Hey? <laughs> Your best straps. You know, I've got a pen knife here. I'll have to cut them off. Yeah, they're good, aren't they? Well, get the straps. I want the straps. Get, 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 there's one. That one. Get out of here. Here's the other ones here. Here there it is, love. Go on. Here you are. That's it. Wait a minute. Don't do the knife. Yeah. That's right. Put it over here. Get, get over your head. Go on. Oh, dear. Put it in your hand, bag. There you are. There, that's my pretty baby, all ready for the judge. <laughs> Thank God, justice is blind. <laughs> right, now, now, while we've got a few minutes, let's see if you've memorised your bit, shall we? Oh, yes. Right, go on, go away quickly. No. Your Honour, mm -hmm. my daughter's husband mm -hmm. is a sadistic, perverted beast. She has told me how on many occasions he has asked her to do some very peculiar things to him. Good. I like the way you said that, Mum. It's good. <laughs> now, Olive, they'll put you in the box and the judge will want to know what peculiar things. Now, what are you going to say? Go on. I feel silly telling you. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean, feel silly for telling me? You idiot, if you're going to tell him, you can tell me, can't you? Go on, where you go? Well, he wanted me to bite him. He wanted you to bite him. Where's that? <laughs> <laughs> That's not down here. Oh, well, it was so embarrassing, Stan. Every time I went to bite him, my teeth came out. <laughs> Don't say that to the judge, you say he forced you against your will. How disgusting. <laughs> Here, was it more than once? Oh, yes. It went on until the night my glasses fell off. What happened then? I bit him in the wrong place. <laughs> it was never the same after that. Come on, come on, get your divorce out. Come on, come on, darling. Oh, no, I don't think I could go through with it. Come on, 
Dolly, you'll be all right. Please, now, just think. In half an hour's time, it'll all be behind you. You'll come out of here a free woman. Yes, Mum's right. You'll come out smiling. You'll be a new woman. Yes, you'll come out dancing, young and single again. <laughs> Divorce? You'll for God's sake dry up. Three hours, a big train waiting in there for six hours. And we missed our tea. Oh, so that's why she's crying. Stay. Well, she got a divorce. What more does she want? I'm freezing. Can I pop in my store? <laughs> <laughs> Take dry up, will you? <laughs> you got your divorce, that's what you wanted, isn't it? Why? Right. <laughs> uh, here, I'll tell you what, love. Here. Have a nice piece of cake. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you think Arthur didn't even come to court? He doesn't care if I stole! <laughs> well, it's no fear of that, is it? Oh, come on, love. Cheer up. Have that nice cup of tea. There's a good girl. Well, I must be off. Off? Where are you going, Emma? Well, it's Thursday, love. I always go to Mark Maud's on Thursday. Oh, of course you do, yeah, that's right. Why, no? Why don't you come with Mum to Aunt Maud's? What a good idea. Oh, no, I don't want to go to Aunt Maud's. You make me go through that divorce again. I don't think I'm going to uh... go. <laughs> If you don't want to go, you don't have to go. Stan's home this evening. he look after you. No, 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 I'm not. Hey? No, I'm, I'm taking Sandra to the pictures. Oh, but, Jeff, you can't go to me, I'll be. Well, I've made a range with but the car, no, but it won't, you know. I know. Take Olive with you. <laughs> <laughs> she won't want to go to the pictures like that. You don't want to go to the pictures, do you? Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> Take my mind off things. Uh, no, well, uh, it's, it's not a funny picture. <laughs> oh, well, good. I don't think I'm in the mood for a funny picture today. <laughs> oh, good. Well, that's all settled then. Ah, oh, yeah. It'll be just like old times. You and Olive going everywhere together. <laughs> everywhere? <laughs> yes. Now she's got a divorce, she's got her freedom. <laughs> And mine's gone for a Burton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. The picture ain't started yet. <laughs> We're just in time. <laughs> now, what's the matter? Do we have to have your sister next to us? Shh, keep your voice down. Well, I couldn't leave her at home, could I? Look, when the lights go down, you won't even know she's here. <laughs> Stan! Stan! <laughs> oh, I spoke too quick. <laughs> Here's your mince you asked for. What have you got all that for? I don't want anything to eat. Unless I've got a little something to eat. Yeah. What's the film about? Well, it's one of them sexy foreign films. It's this woman who gets a divorce because her husband goes off with another bitch. <laughs> oh, I don't want to see that stuff. I want to go. Oh, no, no, it's all right. It ends up all right in the end. It is about this bird, bird that gets divorced. But you see, she gets all these fellas chasing her. All divorced birds do. <laughs> Did I? I wouldn't like to take a bet on it. <laughs> <laughs> Going down. I can't see from this far back. If you want to be this little bit, why don't you go and sit in the front? Oh no, I wouldn't want to leave you, Stan. No, I didn't think you would. <laughs> Stan! Stan! See? Oh, Stan! Cheeky! <laughs> I didn't want to do that. It was Olive. She pushed me on the side. What do you want? Woman's got nothing on. No, really. That's a man. <laughs> Stan, I can't find the little hole. <laughs> you do it for me. <laughs> Arthur will 
always used to do it for me. I think that's the only thing he ever did do for you. Oh, we'll blow it out. <laughs> I won't blow. Blow harder. <laughs> it won't blow. Look, Stan. <laughs> you stupid great oh, you Shush, 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 shush. Oh, sorry. Shush. <laughs> Come to the pictures and you have to watch the film. I enjoyed the film, didn't you? Yeah. I haven't seen a film all the way through for ages. Well, I go to the pictures with a fella, I don't usually get the chance. It wasn't my fault, was it? Uh, have another drink, come on. Uh, same again. Stan, Stan. What? We're not going to stay here all evening, are we? Well, I don't know. Why? Well, there's nobody at my place. We'd be oh. on our own. On our own? Mm. Oh. You don't you want to? Well, yeah, but uh, what about Olive? Oh, she can find her own way home. Um, tell her. Well, yeah, all right, then, yeah. Uh, Olive, Olive, love, um, uh, Sandra's not feeling too well. And I said I'd see her home, and as it's miles out of our way, you don't mind going home on your own, do you? Oh, no, Stan, I wouldn't want to go on my own. Not after what happened in the pictures. Well, it's... I don't mind coming with you, really. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, Sandra, uh, I can't very well, uh, you know. Uh, well, I see, I... I can't leave her. Oh, well, forget the old thing. No, no, don't. I'll think of something. Um, uh, uh, hey, Jack, Jack. Yeah? You, uh, you... Hang on a minute. Yeah? You go past my house. Yeah. Uh, see Olive home for us. Yeah, do you mind? <laughs> mate, do us a favour. Oh, sorry, mate, you're too late. Betty's already promised to do me a favour. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we going home. Well, you see, I'm in the same boat, you see. Sandra's asked me back to her place, nobody's there, and I'm... I'm lumbered with Olive. Ah, oh, well, listen, mate, there must be somebody here can lumber. Oh, don't be daft, do! Oh, yeah, I think we found him, mate. Hang on. Hello, Blaggy. Hello, boy. Hey, am I pleased to see you? <laughs> I'm not buying you a drink. <laughs> oh, I don't want you to. Let, let me get you a drink. Huh? What's the catch? No, it's not a catch. It's all just generally pleased to see you. You're drunk. <laughs> No, I'm not. Look, have a You're drink. You're after something, aren't you? Well, yeah, yeah, but uh, no, not from you. <laughs> Go on, have a drink with me. Go on. I'll have a whiskey then. All right then, have a large one. Hey, Elsie, love, when you get time, uh, uh, Mr. Blake, give him a nice large scotch. The money. Uh, I must be dreaming. <laughs> uh, 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 come and join us, will you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've got my sister Olive here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I'll, I'll better stay over here. See, I'll only be having one drink and then I'll be going home, man. Oh, oh, you're going, are you? Yeah. Oh, uh, um, yes, sir. Are you walking? Yes, I always do, do not I? Oh, yeah. You go right past my house. Yeah, right past. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, well, listen, uh, uh, 
when you were, when you, I'll tell you why, when you get your drink, come and join us, because Olive's got a divorce and... Uh, oh, you, you got away with your perjury then, did you? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, what we're trying to do, Blake, is sort of try and cheer her up, see? Yeah. So when you get your drink, come and join us. Do us a favour, eh? Mm. All for a large scotch. Hey. <laughs> mm. <laughs> You're all right. Yes, you're all right. Uh, Sandra. Mm. Yeah, uh, uh, Olive, love. Um, uh, Inspector Blake's offered to take you home. <laughs> oh, how nice of him. Yeah, so when he arrives, uh, I'll be taking the Sandra back, see? <laughs> oh, all right, yeah. Stan. Uh, wish you better. <laughs> <laughs> see you at the door, Stan. Yes, I will, yeah. Sure, yeah. Would you take it? Yeah. Uh, uh, Blakey, sit down here. Sit down here, Blakey. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Hello. Hello. So I'm, uh, I'm glad to hear that you won your case. Oh, thank you very much. Because mm. I'm not used to divorce yet. Yeah, you no, will be. At least you're free. <laughs> well, excuse me a minute, I'll just get a word with Jack. <laughs> you are a very kind man, Mr Blake. Eh? Oh, thank you very much. I'm ready whenever you are. <laughs> too tired, are you? <laughs> tired? Well, you will be going all the way with me, won't you? All the way? Where's your brother gone? He's gone. Gone? Yeah, when you offered to take me home, he went off. Oh, you home? <laughs> yeah, what's Butler up to? Huh? He told his sister I'm going to see her home now he's lumbered me with her. Yeah, well, I hope you'll both be very happy. <laughs> Do. Listen, why are you grumbling about now? Look, you're a lucky fella. Get stuck in, mate. Ooh, you literate more on you. <laughs> Listen, look, she's only been divorced a few hours. You can have the first crack. How <laughs> dare you! Look, it's about time you found out there was more in life than buses. <laughs> Come on, darling. What you got that for? Me alarm clock? Oh, I set it for half past eleven. It's just before me mum gets back. <laughs> oh, I say, you got it all worked out, haven't you? <laughs> well, come on. We haven't got all night. Oh, well, it's... Uh... It only gives us an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr Blake, I just remembered. I haven't got a key. I won't be able to get in. Hey? Oh, it's all right. Stan's got one. He went off for Sandra. What? Sandra the Clippy? Yeah. Oh, ain't he? <laughs> yeah. She only lives round the corner. Let's come and get it. Will we be interrupted? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yes, I do. Oh. That's not the alarm clock already, is it? No, it's a front door. Last. Oh, I'll soon get rid of them, whoever it is. I think I'm in the market here. <laughs> oh, work the cards, right? Oh. <laughs> Oh, did you get rid of him, darling? <laughs> no, sweetheart. <laughs> Blakey, I thought you were seeing Olive home. Yeah, well, she got off and she realised that you had the key. <laughs> <laughs> now you can see her home, mate. Go on. Yeah. It's cold outside, but you oughtn't feel cold, should you? Yeah, do you got to cool down a bit, I'll tell you, mate. <laughs> it's made my day, this day. <laughs> there are your shoes now. Get out. It was ever so frustrating, Stan. We went nearly all the way. And just as we were almost there, we had to stop. Yeah, I know just how you feel. 